It's Sunday, and on Sundays, we get snarky. This is where I give you the most snarkable articles from across the internet on the British family from the past week. Let's go! From GB News, King Charles will allow Meghan Markle to keep Sussex title even if the Duchess runs for U.S. president. Oh, by your leave. How generous of him. But also, this is not a thing. And it would be weird to use an English title while running for president in the United States of America. For thoughts on that, I direct you to 1776. On the other hand, this is also a country where people will fly American flags and Confederate flags out of the back of their pickup trucks. So <laughs> history is not our strong suit. But step aside, Megan, because you know who is going to unite the United States? Prince William, obviously. I think we have taken the whole work shy William thing a little too far in the other direction. How is this man going to bridge the divide of partisan politics in America while he is busy saving the earth, ending homelessness in the UK, and eating pizza on the couch in a way that Kate finds disturbing? What does he do with that pizza? Pizza, pizza. I did a larger video on this poll over at Lady Audacity, T-E-A, but I just want to say... Top's poll of world leaders, less than half of these people are world leaders. Also, if you can't do better than Clarence Thomas and Vladimir Putin, like, in other news, broccoli is more popular than dirt, fecal matter, and uncooked spaghetti. What? <laughs> also, the question is, Read each name and please say if you have a favorable or unfavorable opinion about that person or if you've never heard about them. It says nothing about uniting the country. Not to mention the fact that most of these names are involved in politics and on one side or the other. The fact that they didn't throw in names like Oprah, Meghan Markle, etc. This is, this is ridiculous. But back to snarking. Netflix executives paid three million pounds for film rights to romantic novel that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will produce. It's weird because all the people that were saying that Netflix was getting ready to drop them aren't like running to cover this. It's so weird. It's almost like they want you to forget that they were dead wrong. <laughs> Moving on to breaking Prince Edward news. Jokes. When Prince Harry and Meghan fight, they fight in a big way, claims Palace Insider. Oh, what say you, sweet palace insider? What do they do? Are you ready for this quote? You're not ready for this quote. Quote, when Harry and Meghan fight, they both really get into it in a big way. End quote. How revelatory. This is from Mr. Tom Quinn, who recently wrote a book. He was the one that made a splash that talked about how Kate and William fight in normal ways. They throw cushions at each other. And this is brought up in the paragraph prior. Are you ready? However, where some couples have a row and throw heavy vases at each other, who is doing that? William and Kate throw cushions at each other. It's always kept under control, Mr. Quinn learned. <laughs> How are Harry and Meghan's arguments an entirely different story is what I want to know. Is she chucking bottles of kombucha at him? Like, what is happening? But this part is even better. <laughs> Hold on. Mr. Quinn attributes William and Kate's more calm and collected approach to the late Queen's legacy. <laughs> Was the Queen also throwing pillows at Philip? English people, can you please tell me if this is the dignified way to fight with your spouse? I just, I want to know. Maybe it's a little different in America. I don't know. Speaking of throwing things, the parent trap, where famously Nikki gets a blow dryer thrown at him. But also, Parent Trap makes no sense in this situation. It's not about disagreements on how to parent. This is a video for another time, but I argue that Meredith Blake is not the villain of that movie. It is actually the parents. Who does this to their children? Anyway, apparently they can't agree how to bring up the children. Megan wants her kids all in the public eye, and Harry doesn't. If she wanted them in the public eye, why not stay royals? I think someone's telling tales. An insider said it, so it must be true. Apparently she's not overly impressed with his three high-profile court cases. Sure, sure. Including a phone hacking claim against the Sun, which was thrown out by the judge last month. Let me remind you, this article is from The Sun. The Sun will phone hack tomorrow.
Not to mention this is only partially true. They're focusing on what part of the case that is going to trial was thrown out. Not mentioning the other bits. No, ignore those. And finally, you know I don't like talking about the kids, but I was like, how will Prince Charlotte never be like spare Harry? It opens with, so now, according to a royal expert, they're taking big steps to avoid another bombshell memoir causing controversy in the future. The problem wasn't the memoir, it's what preceded the memoir. It's good to see we're learning no lessons for the future generation. Apparently, Kate has a clever parenting trick, so that she'll never be the spare like her uncle. We never learn what the trick is, by the way. This article is a whole bunch of nothing, but here's what they say. As a result, a result of what? We don't know. According to Christopher, a royal biographer, Charlotte's relationship with her older brother George is much healthier than it normally would be in the royal family. <laughs> Way to tell on yourselves. Yes, the dysfunction is, is, is quite bizarre, but we're working on making it a little less dysfunctional so Charlotte doesn't embarrass us like Harry. And the rest of the article is about how the siblings can help to lessen the burden on George, which again, how is this helping Charlotte? Nothing. I felt nothing towards this article. That's all the snark for this week. Until next time.